This video will introduce you to the concept of uh, document ownership and transferring documents in Nutriadmin. So this is relevant if you are part of a team in Nutriadmin, as in uh, if there is two or more people from the same company and you're working together in Nutriadmin and you have your separate business accounts. So um, basically in this example I'm going to show I have two windows. One of them is in Google Chrome and it's for a user called Diego and the other one is in Safari and it's for a user called uh, Magda. So I'm simulating uh, as if I had two different computers. Uh, probably in a real case scenario, this would be two different people in two different computers, but uh, for this example, I'm just showing in one screen. And basically what I'm showing here is um, for reports, uh, there is a report in here uh, that I've created uh, and this is owned by Diego. And if I go to Magda's account, I can click on reports and I can see this report in here as well. But the owner is Diego, not uh, Magda, which is this current user. So um, basically every document uh, in the tree admin, so every client record, every report, every meal plan, etc., cetera, uh, is owned by the person who created this document. So if I go here and click on new report and I save a report, this will be owned by Magda. And if Diego does the same, it will be owned by Diego. So thanks to the um, sharing, uh, everybody in the team can see each other's documents, but only the owner can edit or delete a document. So basically, if I click in here to view this document, it's just a simple report. Uh, Diego can uh, change this. Uh, this is edited. And I can click on Save, and this will go through. And if I refresh the page, just to confirm that the save um, that the data went through, I can see these changes that I made. Now, if I do the same with Magda, which as I uh, said before, is not the owner of this report, I'm gonna get an error. Like, first of all, uh, Nutriami will warn you that you can only view this document, you cannot save it because you're not the owner. And if I click in save, I'm gonna get an error and I have to refresh the page to see the changes again. Um, so this is basically made for um, many reasons, but amongst those are, um, Amongst the reasons are uh, security. So if multiple people could uh, access and edit the same documents, there could be many errors, such as uh, someone overwriting accidentally the data from another user. And also this way, you're, you can always be sure that some document you created, nobody in your team can uh, edit. So if your team is, uh, especially if your team is large and you have uh, dozens of people accessing all the same documents, um, it could be uh, madness. If anyone could edit your documents, you would never know which version you're using. Um, right, so uh, this is the main concept of ownership. So basically you can only, you can see and, uh, and use any document, but you can only edit and save changes and delete uh, documents that you've created. But now, okay, what happens when, when you wanna, uh, you really need to edit this document? Um, so, if you're Magda Sternick and you want to edit this report that was created by Diego, uh, is there any way to do it? And uh, the reason is yes. Um, the, the, the answer is yes. What you have to do is uh, you have to go to the team menu, as you see here, and you can go to transfer. So um, this is um, it's very, it's, it's basically you're transferring the ownership of a document to someone in your team. So in here it says, how does transferring ownership work? Just you can transfer client records, meal plans, etc., to a, a team member. So transferring means you're gonna still be able to see it. Uh, it's just that um, you're giving your teammate the right to um, to edit and to delete uh, the files. And uh, by, by the way, if you've ever used um, Linux or uh, maybe even Macintosh, uh, the, there is a very similar concept that um, these operating systems use. Uh, I think possibly in Windows as well, but when you have ma many people working from uh, the same team and sharing files, it's the same concept. Only the owner of the files can make edits unless uh, you specify, like there's this permission in system because um, otherwise it's just, uh, it's dangerous and it can lead to unexpected behaviors if anyone can edit other people's data without uh, proper permissioning. Okay, so, um, and that's going to demonstrate how we could transfer this report to Magda. So the steps are first, uh, as Diego, I'm going to click on reports. 
uh, so team transfer uh, report, transfer ownership of report. And this is going to open a window showing me the reports that uh, Diego owns, which in this case is just one. And I'm going to click this box to transfer. I'm going to choose the team and teammate to transfer to, which is going to be Magda Sternik. And I'm going to click on confirm. And uh, I get this green success message and the page is going to be refreshed. And now if I go to Magda's window and I refresh, the, there we go. Uh, this new report that was from Diego before, now is from Magda. So now Magda can open the report and we can edit the document and save changes. And uh, it works as you see. And if now Diego were to go to, Diego can still see the report. It was transferred to Magda, but uh, Diego doesn't lose the report. He still can see it, but it's just that now Diego cannot make the changes. So you see, uh, this way only one person in the team can make changes to each file. So um, basically, uh, in majority of teams, people will split uh, tasks. And for, for example, someone may be dealing with client records and questionnaires, and someone else in the team deals with reports. So if uh, the person that creates each document will be normally the person who uh, has the permissions to uh, modify the document. And if uh, you need to change uh, the ownership of any of the documents at any point, you just have to go to team, transfer, and you just choose the documents you want to transfer. So that's all. Uh, uh, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.